Here's a behind the scenes look at how I created this hand painted cake. I wanted this design to look like a storybook illustration, so I topped my character cookie with a very thin layer of marshmallow fondant, which has a flat paper-like appearance. A fondant smoother can help emphasize this effect. I used a projector to lightly trace the design onto my dried fondant. I'll be painting everything using only black food coloring powder from the Sugar Art mixed with their color solution. I simply add more color solution for lighter shades of gray and less for deeper blacks. I love using nail art paintbrushes for detail work. They're nice and tiny and usually pretty affordable, which is great since painting on baked goods and frequent cleaning can fray them kind of quickly. I'm building up subtle layers for more visual interest, beginning with royal icing lace details. When piping lace edges like this, I just use a combination of scallops and dots. I'm flooding her upper arm with chocolate royal icing, then painting white highlights with poppy paint. And adding some chocolate fondant curls. For my background, I'm going to use a very, very thin sheet of pastillage. I like this material as a background canvas because it can be rolled incredibly thin, dries to a crisp texture, and holds up really well against moisture. Then, again with the black food coloring powder and color solution to fill in this background scene. To add more of a storybook illustration effect, I'm outlining everything with black edible markers from Drip Color, using their dual tipped marker for the main outlines and a fine liner for the details. I'll be adding a balcony railing and wanted it to have a subtle 3D effect, so I'm creating it as a royal icing transfer. And for a final 3D pop, piped roses. Outlined in black to help them coordinate with the illustration. I'm using a thin square of chocolate pâté sucré as the bottom layer of my cake to make it a bit sturdier. Then adding espresso ganache topped with the first layer of dark chocolate jacon sponge. I'm scoring the sponge, then soaking it with an espresso and Bailey's syrup. Followed by a layer of luxurious and creamy Bailey's French meringue buttercream. Then another layer of jacon scored and soaked with espresso Bailey's syrup. Next comes a layer of espresso chocolate ganache. And one final jacon soaked with syrup all encased in the remaining Bailey's French meringue buttercream. Next comes my pastillage background, the royal icing transfer railing, and then the character cookie attached with white chocolate and her coffee. The roses are next. And finally, a few finishing touches, flyaway curls, highlights, a drage earring, and an inky border. How delicious does this look?